Welcome to my classroom. I would like to share some interesting problems in this classroom to enrich secondary school students in learning mathematics. This problem does not require specific mathematics knowledge, so it is a problem for all levels. Here is the problem. Given 456 persons, each of them is given a number from 1 to 456. They line up according to the numbers to form a circle. The rule of the game is that for every two persons, one is killed in the way that the former kills the later. So by the end of the game, 455 persons are killed and one is left. The task is to find out the person left, that is the survivor. Let me illustrate the rule of game by an example of five persons. They are standing in a circle. The game starts with the first pair, one and two. One is the former and two is the later. So one kills two, two is crossed. Similarly, three and four, four is crossed. Five and one, one is crossed. Now we have two numbers left, three and five. 5 is the later, so 5 is crossed. The number 3 is left. That is, the person with the number 3 is the survivor. To make things simple, let N denote the number of persons given, and S stands for the survivor's numbers. So in this example, N is 5, and S is 3. In our task, N is 456 and we look for the values of s to enjoy the problem more i suggest you pause the video and work on your own the problem considers 456 persons which is a big number theoretically we can draw a big circle with 456 numbers and cross out 455 of them for the survivor but it is tedious to do so, and it is not our interest to solve the problem by this method. However, we can try with a smaller number and observe the crossing pattern to get an idea for a better solution. We have seen the case of n equals 5, but this number is too small to have a clear idea. Let me consider another number, say 12. For 12 numbers, apply the crossing rule 1 cross 2, 3 cross 4. Similarly, 6, 8, 10, and 12 are crossed out in the first round, and they are all even numbers. For the remaining 6 odd numbers, in the second round, 1 cross 3, 5 cross 7, 9 cross 11. 3 odd numbers are crossed out, but they are in the even positions. Let me mark the position in the second round to show the crossing pattern in a clear way. So one, position one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the number cross out comes from position two, four, and six. We can notice that the position matter more than the numbers themselves. When there are even numbers in the circle, all the numbers in the even positions are crossed out in the rung of crossing. Now, we have three numbers left. Three is an odd number. Let me mark the position in the new rung for crossing. Position 1, position 2, and position 3. So, the numbers in the position 1 cross the number in position 2. 2, that is 5 is cross. Position 2 is an even position. Now, the numbers in position 3 cross the number in position 1. That means 1 is crossed and the position is 1, which is an odd position. So when there are odd numbers in the circle, the situation of crossing is not that clear. Anyway, in this example, 9 is the number left, that is when n is 12, s is 9. You may pause the video again and cross the numbers on your own to get a better understanding and observation. You may also try with another number of n. You may notice that when there are even numbers in the circle, 
the numbers in the even positions are crossed out. When there are odd numbers in the circle, the pattern is not clear. So it is good to consider a power of 2. Why? Because every time the number is reduced by half, the remaining half is still an even number. So we start with 2 to the power n, an even number. After the first round of crossing, there are 2 to the power n minus 1 numbers left, which is again an even number. So after the next round of crossing, we have 2 to the power n minus 2 numbers left, an even number as well. So this process goes on until 2 numbers left. According to the pattern of crossing, we can see that one of them is 1, and it is also the former number. Therefore, 1 is the number left at the end. So, the survivor is the first person in the circle. That is, when n equals to 2 to the power n, s is 1. With this observation, we can find s when n is 12 in a quicker way. How? First, we notice that 12 is not a power of 2. But we can reduce the numbers on the circle from 12 to a power of 2. The power of 2 just less than 12 is 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. How many numbers need to be crossed out first? We make use of 12 minus 8 and get 4. So we need to cross out the first four numbers from the circle. They are 2, 4, 6, 8. So after these four numbers cross out, we have 8 numbers left. And 9 is the first number in this remaining group. Therefore, S is 9. OK, let me do it again without the diagram. First, rewrite 12 as 8 plus 4. 8 is the power of 2. And 4 is the number for S. S equals 2 times 4 plus 1. That is 9. Same as the answer. And why we multiply 4 by 2? Because the crossing rule requires two numbers for crossing 1. And plus 1 for getting the first number in the remaining group. So, we derive a quicker method of finding S. Now, we are able to handle the original problem, the big number of 456. This is not a power of 2, so we need to find out the power of 2 just less than this, which is 256, and it is 2 to the power 8. Therefore, 456 equals to 256 plus 200. And this 200 helps us to find out the values of S, which is 2 times 200 plus 1, and it is 401. That means the person with the number 401 is the survivor of this game. Do you get the same answer on your own? I hope you enjoyed the first task. Here is the second task. Who is the last person to be killed? Let me demonstrate with an example of 5. In the diagram, 2 is the first one to be killed, 4 is the second, 1 is the third, and 5 is the fourth, and in fact it is the last one to be killed. This task is to find out this number. This time, we let L to stand for the number of the last person to be killed. Therefore, in the example, L is 5. And our task is that when N is 456, we want to find out the values of L. With the experience in task 1, we first observe with a number of power 2, say 16, which is 2 to the power 4. I suppose the crossing pattern is already clear to you. Without crossing on the circle, we can find the remaining numbers after crossing the numbers in a round. After the first round of crossing, the remaining numbers are these eight odd numbers, and 
we cross the numbers in the even position so that after the second round of crossing we have four numbers left again we cross the numbers in the even position so after the third round of crossing we have one and nine left and the last round of crossing is nine and therefore we get the answer that s is one and l is nine we get the answer by crossing the numbers one after the other can we get the answer without the actual number crossing so let us observe the numbers left in each round and see if we get any useful pattern. For the first group of odd numbers, they are consecutive, so that the general form is 2n plus 1. The second group, these four odd numbers has a general form of 4n plus 1. The last group, the general form is 8n plus 1. In other words, this 9 can be written as 8 plus 1, where this 8 is a power of 2, 2 to the power 3. If we compare the two powers, 3 and 4, 3 is 1 less than 4. In fact, this pattern works for any power, that is, when n equals to 2 to the power n, L equals to 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 1. Now, we consider the case of n equals to 12 again. First, we write 12 as 8 plus 4. This 8 is a power of 2. And this 4 helps us to find out the value of s, which is 2 times 4 plus 1, that is 9. 9 is the survivor. And also, it is the first number in the remaining group. And this power 3 help us to locate the position of L. That is, 2 to the power 2 plus 1. We get 5. So, L is the number at the fifth position counted from 9. Therefore, L equals to 9 plus 5 minus 1. It goes to 13 which is greater than 12 and therefore the numbers is in the new cycle let me show the answer with the diagram so 9 is the first number first second third fourth and fifth so the value of l is 1 this 13 in fact refers to 1 that is l is 1 now, let me summarize the working. First, we rewrite n as two numbers. One is a power of 2, and use the other number to find out the value of s. This s, in fact, is the first number of the remaining group. And use the power to locate the position of l. So, with the position and the first number, we can find out the value of L. Now, we can solve the case with n equals to 456. We first break this number into two parts. One is a power of 2, just less than the number, which is 256. It is 2 to the power 8. So the other number is 200. This 200 help us to find out the values of s, which is 2 times 200 plus 1. It is 401. For the power 8 here, it help us to find out the location of l, which is 2 to the power 7 plus 1. It goes to 129. So l is the number counting from 401 to and at the position of 129, therefore L equals to 401 plus 129 minus 1. It goes to 529, which is greater than 456. 
So the number is in the next rung of counting. Let me put down the numbers and the position expressively. Now, 401 is the first number, so it takes the position 1. And similarly, 456 takes the position 56. The number at the position of 57 will be the first one in the next cycle, which is 1. The number of at the position 58, it is 3, not 2, because 2 is crossed out at the very beginning. And similarly, the number in the position of 59 should be 5. And we would like to find out the number in the position of 129. To make the counting easy, let us look at the numbers in the new cycle. Here we have 73 numbers. This 73 comes from 129 minus 56. And this 73 is smaller than 200. So the numbers in this size has the same pattern. And they are all odd numbers, so that the corresponding number should be 2 times 73 minus 1. That is 145. So L is 145. That is the last person to be cute is the person with the number 145. I hope you find the little problem interesting and learn how to use cases of small numbers for effective observation. In fact, observation is a useful skill for problem solving. I hope you enjoy.